get started, just a recap. I'm going to slide this over so I'm not looking at the other screen. Uh, don't forget, starting tomorrow and then every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning, we're kicking off our power hour. We tried this once before. It didn't work. We're going to give it another go. Uh, we will have scripts. We will have leads. You come in the office. It's physical, face-to-face. -face. Uh, we will practice some scripts. We've got some great Mike Ferry scripts, some Kevin Ward scripts, um, and then you know everything from prospecting your sphere, expires mm -hmm. over the phone, um, working, FISBOs. Um, so all of it, we're gonna practice it and then hop on the phones and everybody start making calls and actually putting those scripts to you. You know, it's really important that, you know, when you think of a professional athlete, they practice a lot. You know, Michael Jordan just didn't go on the court for his first NBA game, never having practiced before. Tiger Woods didn't win his first championship without, or, or whatever, I guess it's called championship, without, um, uh, not championship, is it? It's, what is it, a master? I don't know. Whatever, the, you know, win the <laughs> masters or whatever without practicing. So um, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, 8 a.m. in the office, 30 minutes of script practice as a group. And then we will go on and um, uh, actually do some calls. And we will provide some leads. So how about that? All right. Uh, don't forget also tomorrow, Lunch and Learn, Heidi from – First American is going to be here really diving deep into her app. That app is amazing where you can literally just pull up an area, draw, take your finger and draw a circle or use a polygon, whatever, and pull all the owner information. You can filter out by time of purchase, by whether they're homestead or not homestead. That is great if you're working a farm area, getting all the contact information for those folks. You'll know what their likely mortgage balance is, how much equity they have in the home, all of that by just taking your finger and drawing a quick map. The best part about it is, is from there, you can quickly export into the First American Printing platform. Hello. Um, and from there, you can um, uh, send out mailers and all that directly to consumers at cost. Because of RESPA, they can't mark it up and, and make a profit. So their entire printing arm is there to service real estate agents and hopefully get you to use their business, their, uh, their title services, which we do. Uh, but it's a great tool. The printing is amazing and it's really, really cheap. She's also gonna be bringing over some cool tools and resources that she has, uh, like uh, this handy dandy uh, FISBO guide. It's a booklet you can drop off at FISBOs. It's got like 20 pages in it um, that talks all about helping them sell their FISBO. Again, working at FISBO, my, my mantra is, if you're gonna knock on the door, don't try to get them to sell their house with you. That's not gonna work right away. So go in and provide a service and say, hey, I sell a lot of homes in the area. I wanna be able to help you. I don't charge for you, me, my consulting services if you want. And they'll ask you why. And you're like, well, if you sell for maximum dollar, that helps me with my sales in the area. Oh, and by the way, where are you moving to? Oh, you're moving to St. Cloud. Um, I would love to work with you. Tell you what, if you let me represent you as your buyer's agent, which doesn't cost you anything, I'll even help you with some contract review and on your FISBO. So what a great way to be able to get a buyer lead and also um, potentially a listing because chances are what after 60 days is the average time that a FISBO converts over to a full listing. So just a thought process there. So be sure to come for that. She's bringing food. So they're feeding us. Uh, it'll be a great time and help you uh, be able to cultivate and farm that out. So just some thoughts there. Speaking of farming, I'm going to share my screen as soon as I find where my little window went. My little, hello. My little, oh, here it is. Share. Uh, oh, right here. I'm going to share my desktop. So now y'all can see yourself for a quick second. Um, is it sharing yet? There it goes. Can y'all see my screen? Mm -hmm. So I want to go over this. It's in the video that we did about farming, but I thought it was really important. I wanted to kind of go over it one more time. I'm going to make this kind of big so you can see it. So when you're in Google Drive, if you want to access our templates, and we have a couple in there, just go over to new. You're going to come down to Google Sheets. You're gonna to go to this little arrow right here, and then you see blank spreadsheet and from template. And if you notice the, the URL at the very top is drive.google.com, make sure you're signed in with your one blue email address though. If you're signed in with your personal, you can't see any of this. Click from a template, 
I'm going to create. It's going to load up. And then here's our strategic pricing analysis tool that we trained on a couple months ago. And then here's the farm area calculator that I showed in the video. Just click on it and it loads it up real quick. I did want to go over a couple quick things just, just to highlight in case you missed the video. Um, we did get a couple questions, so I'll address it here. First and foremost, the only three fields you need to worry about are these blue ones. All right, that's it. Everything else is going to calculate for you. So how many sales were in the farm area over the last 12 months? That will also carry down automatically. So I put 15 here. It's going to carry down for me. Total homes in the farm area, if I put 500. And then how many active listings are there? 12. Okay. And that lets us know. And then you look in the farm area, and does any agent have four more sales? No. All right. Your goal would be three greens. If you have three greens here, you're, you're amazing. It's perfect, right? If any of these are red, it's not an ideal farm area. If the turnover rate is really low, you're not going to be able to cultivate enough business. That's like an equivalent of for using some farm analogies of some bad soil. Um, you're not going to be able to cultivate the sales out. The monthly inventory, you want to make sure you're, you don't have too short a supply or too long a supply because that just is a sign of a not a, not a healthy farm area. So I hope this, this um, calculator helps. Uh, you can create as many of these and save them into your Google Drive as you want. Um, if you go in here and you accidentally erase a formula, just close it out and go back and start a new one. You can do as many of these as you want from the template. So go to Drive, New, the right arrow, from a template. Does anyone have questions on how the calculator works? Anyone? Anyone? No. All right, we've got a good crack going on. Awesome, there's John. Welcome, John. All right, well, that's kind of the one thing I really wanted to show you guys um, to this morning. Does anyone have any questions? What's going on in your world? Um, we talked about the beginning, making sure you're getting out in front of consumers. You know, if you, you know, you're not in front of a buyer or seller or potential buyer or seller, um, you're not winning. So we need to get you out in front of folks. So I know Ray has an appointment today, right? You said, Ray, is it a listing or buyer consult? What you got going on today? I'm going to go show on a, a house. Awesome. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it showing one of your listing or? No, no, no. I'm, sh I'm showing my listings already under contract that I have currently. I'm actually showing some more houses to an investor. Very nice. Mm -hmm. How's the rest of your pipeline looking? Well, I still need to bump it up more. I've got one offer that I'm putting in today, hopefully, and I need three more this month. <laughs> That's it? All right. We've still got some time. It's only the 22nd. <laughs> yeah. So, awesome. Good deal. What about you, Rose? What do you, you, you had mentioned you're going in front of uh, someone today. So, unmute yourself and let us know what's going on. There you go. Oh, Rose? Did Rose freeze or she? <laughs> there she is. I'm Rose. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Rose? So my, my, um, my dog keeps barking and making a lot of noise. That's okay. So um, what you got going on today? Well, just today, the only thing that I've gotten so far is a rental. She wants to see a rental, so I'm going to go show it to her. I've tried talking to her about Home Partners of America, and I'm sending her the information. And don't forget, if you, if you need help with, with some of the home partners, get, set some time up with John and, and have them come into the office and we'll and be happy to sit down with you and do a consultation with them one-on-one -on -one with you. So that way you can, you can, you know, if you're not comfortable delivering all the details in the program, leverage right. the resources you have at the office. Okay. I, yeah, I can do that. I, I'll, I'll do that. It's, 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 I, I also wanted to go into the, the farm spreadsheet that we were working on. Um, it took me all morning and still yesterday, all into the afternoon, and I couldn't find anything <laughs> that turned green. Yes, it, you I know, was doing something wrong. No, it's so part of what's happening right now is we have low inventory, right? So we're not seeing right. a lot of listings. So that's why right now it, it's difficult. So yeah, uh, yeah, but and you got to find one that gets as close as you can then to where you want to be. And yeah, I'm not giving up. I'm not know, giving up. Very honest, I actually did because I, I did that one. I was recording it and, and finding a farm area live. There actually was like 30 minutes of video that I edited down to that eight minute because I wow. could not find another farm area that was green. I'm like, I have no more time to spend on this. They get how to use the tool. 
Um, yeah, so. no, it's a great tool. It, it is. It's a great tool. But I just, I just have to try in the area. Try to find something that's going to work great for me. So. Right. All right. Very cool. I'm working. Cool. All right, well, Troy, uh, you're, you're rocking and rolling. You know, Troy came to me at the beginning of the month and said, I'm going to do four a month. And I said, yeah, 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 put up or shut up, right? And uh, so far, Troy's got one almost on the board and another one pretty close to going on the board for this month. So where are we at, Troy? I have one. Uh, should, like you said, it should be on the board today. Um, one, I'm writing an offer on on Sunday and then I've got another one that I'm showing on Sunday as well. I'll, I'm, I'm uh, lined up to show six houses on Sunday. So. Oh, one buyer or multiple buyers? One. <clears throat> one buyer? Okay. Are you gonna show them college. everything on the market or what? No, nah, they want to be in college park. You know, I mean, it's tough. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they've got, they've got a $320,000 budget. So college yeah. park is tough at 320. Yeah. Do you want to make it land? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, no. So uh, yeah, we should. I should. I my goal is a minimum of three, but four is my goal. Right. And tell me, I, I sent out that message yesterday about everybody reaching out, blasting your blast texting uh, to reengage some folks. Um, Troy, you actually had a little success with that, didn't you? I had. Yeah, I had more than a little success, but yeah, I did. I did well. well tell me uh, about it. I only know I about the have, one. I do actually have, well, I had uh, three that I had uh, success with. Um, one of them is Spanish speaking, so I, I do need some help with that. Actually, I had two that were Spanish speaking that I need help with. So, um, but, you know, that really works. Quite honestly, six months, these, some of these people hadn't, you know, uh, been engaged in six months and I called them and they're still looking. So obviously somebody hasn't helped them. Yep. So they were pretty, they were pretty excited. I mean, it wasn't like, I mean, I had some people just say, no, I've already bought or, you know, whatever their, whatever the reasoning is, but I had, I had three out of, and I made 42 calls yesterday. So. Okay. Well, that's awesome. You know, it does work. Um, we, uh, we, we've had, Claire's been helping us out trying to get some of my old, 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 like, you know, from 2014 and 2015 to get reengaged so we can get them out. Uh, and she's actually even having some success with that. So, you know, it does work. You just got to get out there and don't write off any lead. You know, as long as we have valid contact information, whether it's, it's one or not, there's no such thing as a bad lead. I hate when I hear that, right? Unless it's like, you know, you know, one of those vulgar email addresses and the phone numbers to, you know, the White House, it, you know, it's a good lead, right? And even those, um, there are plenty of stories in the Boomtown agent and owner groups about uh, customers who had those bad emails, but were always active. They kept coming back and then changed their email address and engaged and bought a house. Right. So it does actually work. So don't remember, even the... The I hate realtors at gmail.com is still potentially a good lead down the road. So good job on that one. Anyone else send out that text yesterday? I made it pretty simple. I created a link for you to see them and I created the text message for you. Uh, so all you had to do is drop down, hit send. I thought, you know, that was pretty simple. Um, anyone else do it? I did. How'd it go, Joellen? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't just do it yesterday, but I, I've kind of been doing that with people that I haven't, that have no logins at all, just to see if maybe they would answer. And there was somebody that, uh, a lead that I had that was um, I, from somebody else, an, an, a, another person's lead that's no longer with us. And um, one day he answered me and he said, oh, you know, um, thanks for keeping in touch. I'm not interested right now. I actually bought a house a year ago, but um, definitely keep in touch um, because I'm an investor now and I flip houses. I will need your, need your help. Um, so awesome? keep in touch. So I said, oh, you know, so we kept the conversation going. So I do keep in touch with him. Yep. It Just works, from a, doesn't from it? From a question like that, you know, are you still interested? Yep. And now I've built the, both of those templates. So it's very personal. You know, it's, you know, happy day of week, um, comment their name. 
So that way, it, you know, no matter when you send it, if it's a Friday or Tuesday, it's going to autofill that text for you. So that way it doesn't look like they're just getting some random, you know, form text on a drip. It makes yeah. it look a little bit more, you know, genuine. Um, so very cool. I also want to touch on one thing. Um, everybody's seen the pre-listing presentation that we did, right? On the very back of it is this one page, right? It gives us the difference of our list price, sell price ratio to the competitors. The difference is three and a half percent, right? Three and a half percent that on average we're able to get versus our competitors in purchase price. So if you're looking at a $100,000 home, uh, we're on, a, on average able to get them $3,500 more than our competitor. So if you're going in on a listing presentation, recognize one thing, you have value, right? You are with Century 21, damn it, the global leader in real estate. You are a skilled agent. You've got a great team behind you. Don't sacrifice your value. I had this conversation with an agent, like don't be afraid to walk away, right? Not all business is good business mm -hmm. and never ever put yourself in a position where you're going to take a listing just because, and you're going to sacrifice who you are. And there's a script that I love and I shared it. It's under uh, I, the link yesterday for sellers, the Mike Ferry script. And it's the CMA presentation. So when you're actually there uh, with the seller and I love the way this opens and I'm going to say it, you know, like customer at the end of my presentation tonight, one of three things is going to happen. First, you'll have the opportunity to list your home with me or two, you have not decide to list your home with me or three, I'll decide not to take your listing. Any one of the three is fine. And what that does is say, look, I'm not desperate. B, it's a privilege to list with Century 21, right? We are not the competitors. Um, and yes, you may not decide to list with me, but I also might not choose to list with you. You know, and we're having another situation with another one of our agents, he's not here today, um, but we have a very difficult seller and he, it would be his first listing ever. Um, they have decided to, they want to disclose that the home is haunted, um, which, uh, cause things are falling off things and moving and disappearing to different rooms. Um, and that they decided <laughs> to redo flooring and they use black tar to put the flooring down and they've not finished. So there's black tar getting over everything. Um, and there's a couple other just kooky little things. Um, I kid you not, this was the exact email. Uh, from this couple that they had, it was a big back, backyard, lots of privacy, great for orgies. I'm like, okay, this is probably a customer. I kid you not, people. That came across. I saw the email. I was like, okay, bro, this is one I think is your decision. But uh, when you meet orgies and hunting and black tar, I think we just move on. <laughs> so don't don't ever feel like you're in the position to take a listing. Uh, and sacrifice your values, sacrifice your, your worth, right? Um, because you are valuable. You bring a lot to the table to bear in the terms of tools and resources. So don't think you have to be desperate. Uh, and while the listings we're gonna be practicing, the scripts, I should say, will be around listings. So I hope you're gonna join us for that. Um, okay, oh, we got chats going on. Instead of people <laughs> just chatting, people are coming. Um, walk away. Yeah, Angela says walk away. Yeah, I think of that song. I don't remember who it was, but turn away, whatever it was. Turn away, run, whatever that song was. Walk away, Renee. Renee. Yeah, there you go. See. <laughs> so um, where's the I, house, Kevin? Where's the house? Um, in the land. Historic the land. No wonder. Right. <laughs> and Claire is suggesting that we include holy water and a candle with the listing. <laughs> so, okay, that's an option. Maybe that's a premium oh, service. Offer, name. Right? Included with our listing package, we'll bring in a priest to do the exorcist or whatever. I say is. make a reality series out of it. Hey. That, uh, Kevin, that pre-listing package, that's on the One Blue site, right? It's on my One Blue. Yep. Because there was one on the Century 21 site too. Yep, not ours. This is customized to us. All right. I hear John in the background. Ours is better. I agree. <laughs> yes, ours is better. Yeah, yeah, I printed the one. I printed the one from Century Twenty One, but no, ours is listing and selling your home. I seen, I seen the book. I just didn't. Uh, I didn't. I haven't printed it yet. And look, here, here's the deal, people. This is one other thing I'll say to you. If you're taking a listing, and let's say it's a two hundred k listing, 
if you can double side that, that's a twelve thousand dollar commission check potentially. Single side six thousand, right? Or more if you're able to get more. Spend this double sided um, gloss print, a gloss paper with cover and binding. Cost me like twenty five bucks at uh, Kinkos. So I went ahead and you know we got a couple printed. Um, but get that done. And what I'd also recommend, I don't have one with me. Claire has it over at her desk is I went on a listing presentation with her. So we sent this and we also added in the property report, the, the, the basically the CRA will from RPR into this. And I put tad, had them put tabs. It cost me about 50 bucks for that one. But let me just tell you, the seller was impressed. Uh, she really, I mean, because obviously it takes us like three minutes to do the RPR report. And she thought we spent hours doing this for her property. So, you know, she was like, what? You know, which report, which report did you print? Uh, it's a seller report. I know the mini one or? No, the full you, seller report. You, oh, you, pull, you pulled the full one. Okay. Yep. There's a mini one. Yep. There's a mini report. So it's only like 20 pages. Yeah. This one was like 60. So, but it worked. It gave her lots of research to look at. The one right. thing I regretted was I put a tab for that and a tab for the, our listing presentation. I would in the future do put insert tabs into the RPR report to separate the, the on the markets, the expireds, the solds, all that. So that way, because it prints it in sections. So that way it's easy to get to. When I was presenting it, I found that out. I should have done that. So did you, um, did you, did they tab it for you or did you, did you tab it? Well, you send it off to them digitally and tell them where to put the tabs and then you go pick it up. Okay. That's what I figured. And usually they can have it ready in three or four hours. Um, so, you know, we had, I actually sent it that morning and picked it up before the listing presentation that night. You probably want to have it a day before though, so you can review it. Well, I mean, I can have it in my hand. I mean, digitally, right. So I'm just gonna pick up the hard copy. That's true. That's true. But yeah. So that's another good point is, Make sure, even if you're just doing the just the pre the pre listing portion, you know, before the CMA, make sure you're able to talk to every page, practice it upside down because if I'm presenting it, it's going to be backwards to me, right? So that you're able to go through it, not reading it, but especially get to the marketing plan, you can look down and see the header and talk to what we're doing, right? So practice that over and over again, and even. With once you got that far down, you have the CMA. Make sure you're practicing that a couple times before you go in front of the seller, so that the first time you're not reviewing that data upside down um, and trying to pitch it is in front of the seller, because that's when you look stupid. So um, you don't do that. Yeah, Rose. Um, and, I, and I'm sorry, it's, it's just a general question. You said that you printed it on glossy paper. Is there a difference between the glossy and the matte paper? Yeah, I think I mean, it looks you, better. You think it looks better? Yep. Okay. The colors are more vibrant uh, because it gives that little reflection to the tape. And I just, you know, a hundred percent. Matter of fact, we have one because the last one they printed, they accidentally printed it on uh, matte paper. And so I side by side, the comparison is unreal. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Joelle. Yeah, Do you Joelle. Use the glossy paper in the office? No, we sent it to Kinkos. Oh, okay. Because you've got great paper in the office there. Right. So the reason I sent it to Kinko's is I think it looks really classy when you have the frosted cover, the black back, and then you spiral, not comb. Comb looks so cheap, but spiral bind it. Right. And even if, right, if you put that CMA in there, it doubles the size of it, but that's a lot of market research on their property. And let me just tell you that, I mean, that's a, you have that up on the table next to the next listing presentation. If you're not the last, that's impressive. And we have a sample of the one we did at the office. I printed an extra one so that up there Claire has it in her hands. That's the one with the CMA and the tabs. So if you want to come in and, and look at it, you can definitely come see. Take a look at what we did. So um, Angela, you had a question. I'm sorry, not Angela, Joellen. Yeah. So you give them the binded one to uh -huh. keep or you bring that back? Oh, okay. I'll keep. Okay. Now on that one that we went on, that was a half million dollar one where she like, got snooty with us. I snatched that thing and took it back. Oh, uh, okay. This is, it, right? I, this is it right here. This is the one I snatched back, the physical one. Yeah. I did one for myself just so I have it. I put it in a, you know, a binder and I did, um, 
you know, I put sheet covers on each one, you know, just right. so that I that. have it, you know. And that's good to have, you know, I got some extra so that way if I'm ever out and about, you know, I have a little uh, file box in the back of my car that I keep a couple of tools like my laser measure. I still have a paperclip pens. I actually need, probably need to update it because I have an old far bar, but a blank co copy of the listing agreement, a blank copy of the far bar and a blank copy of every addendum is in there. So, and it's in a Century 21 folder. So that way, if I ever just happen to run across someone and need it, I got it, you know, and back in the day, I used to use that a lot. I actually had a couple of them in my, in my car, my trunk all the time. Okay. So you never know when you're going to need it. So, all right. Any other questions? This is, are we learning something today? Yes. Ooh. Value? Yes. All right. What about Joe? We haven't heard much from you. Well, uh, I've got a vacant property that I've been working on. There's not much going on with that, though. Uh, and then I've got two, two uh, prospective moves or, or listings for February that I'm working. People, uh, a couple people I used to work with. Uh, one's a listing, actually, and the other one's a, a, a buyer. So we're, I'm hoping, keeping in contact, hoping those are going to pan out. And today is my day to put all my content up. So I'm, I'm working on that right now. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. For those that are participating in the social media management, we scheduled over 500 posts for those agents yesterday alone uh, in total between, I think there's seven agents. We have a contractor in Europe that's helping me with the content getting it scheduled. Um, so you, so you've already seen some tweets go out and you'll see more. And what I love about the platform we're using is it tells that we tell it to post at optimal time. So it analyzes your followers on the individual platform and then post when those followers are most active to help increase engagement. So it's a pretty, pretty incredible platform. Like it was ironic to see the same post as we went through. So like Rose, Angeline, Joelle, and Troy um, on this call, it's everybody. Um, what, how just with your Twitter or with your Facebook, the same exact post, it was recommending posts at different times. You know, it was really interesting to watch and see what happened. So a really cool tool that we're using to help with this. So, um, well, good job, Joe, keep it up. I know Keith also, he has a new listing that just hit the market. Um, Keith Miles is on. Now Keith has been a little listing machine lately. This is what your second or third? Or maybe he can't talk. He's at work at the county. So maybe he's uh, doing county stuff. All right. <laughs> what about Bruce? Bruce, do you have anything you wanna share with us? Uh, I've got a couple of listings that will hit next week and I've got an inspection tomorrow and I'm just trying to come up to speed with getting everything in Boomtown. Yeah. I mean, let me tell you, Bruce is the op city king. Um, the man can, can move op city like I've never seen. So, um, what, you know, you told us your secret to success before is just call it. It's just answering the calls, right? How fast can you do it? Speed in fact, speed. In, in fact, today I took my passcode off of my iPhone to try to speed that up so I don't have to go through that step. Well, there you go. That's a that's something I never thought of. Yeah. Look at you. You're get you're get just like you're training for the Olympics there. <laughs> It'd be fun to sell a few more. It would. Well, you're doing great. So yeah. um, glad glad to see that you got some listings coming on the market. We definitely need more listings here. So all right. Anyone else got anything they want to share? Keith Miles, are you there now? I heard him sneeze or cough, but then nothing. All right. Robert Gordon, what about you? You're on here twice. Nothing. Maybe he's not there at all. I don't know. So I have a question for you and you can either send it to me in chat. You can, oh, Keith just messaged. He's here. He's listening, but unable to talk. So we can all talk about them and he can't say Jack back to us. <laughs> um, what do you want to see? Like I've been trying to, I've been really guiding this conversation when it comes to our open houses. Um, are you finding value in it? Do, is, do you think we should do it? Keep doing it, doing it less frequently or keep it on weekly, but Hey, let's do something else with it. This is your format, right? This is truly when I, when I say open the house, I'm trying to live our value, our habit from century 21 of opening the house. You can always ask anything, nothing's off the table. But I also want to make sure I'm adding value to your day, that it's not just a waste of time. Um, 
I mean, I enjoy getting to see everyone, but truly it, it's your world. So does anyone have any suggestions for, or, or comments? A, keep it as it is, change it, do this. What are your thoughts? Um, I, I love the format. I love the fact that each week you take the time to get with us and let us all know what's going on at once instead of having people, you know, continually try to get in touch with you, find out what's going on. One thing I'd like to see the people that are involved in the, uh, the social media marketing. Um, I think we need, a. I we, we, I understand what's happening, but it'd be nice if we all got together and kind of shared our, um, success with it. So that way we can see the success. Cause we don't know from an individual standpoint, what our success is compared to everybody else and why the success is for somebody in, and not for you or so on and so forth. You can learn from that. So, and also I believe that in the social media uh, piece of it, um, what you're doing for us is awesome, but we also have to learn how we can pepper in our own stuff into that social media marketing. So, you know, we have to target our own individual clients or farm on our own because this is a broad market marketing scheme and then we need to really focus on our own farm. Mm-hmm. And I think that a lot of us need to better understand how that, that uh, platform works because, you know, we're not all uh, social media marketers. So, you know, there's a lot to it, a lot more than what most people know or even understand. So, so what do you mean when, when that, that platform works specifically? Are you, what are you talking about? Like, I mean, for example, when you specifically put a, a Facebook ad out for your farm, so um, you're, you, you set up your audience, you set up your, your farm area in Facebook ad manager, but you know, we all have to understand, uh, and I understand it because I've done a lot of the research on it, but you know, how does that, how should we set that up specifically? And maybe we can talk about that together. I just think it's good that if we could all get together, we could understand a little bit. I don't know what, you, what everybody else's thought is, but that's mine. Yeah, I will say when it comes to a farm area, so, you know, a farm, you're looking at 500 to max-ish about 1,000, maybe 1,500 homes. So you're not going to be able to target that with Facebook ads specifically. Um, you know, you can go down to a mile radius or an individual zip code, uh, but Facebook won't let you get down to that granular of a neighborhood level, unfortunately. Um, I think it's a little bit too stockish for their taste. So it's, you know, continuing to just leverage um, – you know, your direct mail, getting them to your site. So when you're farming, door knocking, postcards, um, attending neighborhood events. So in your farm area, do you have an elementary school or a middle school that has a, a, an opportunity for a volunteer or advertising to help the PTA or something like that? Because they're, they're always looking to raise little funds. So do you have an opportunity to get your name in front of them there? So that way it drives them to your site. So then you're leveraging that remarketing. Um, so that's really where you're going to thrive in that local farm area. But, you know, we will have more classes on social media. That'll definitely be coming more webinars and videos. Uh, and also if you ever need one-on-one -on -one help, you know, don't forget to, you know, you can schedule time anytime through the, uh, through Launchpad. So with some good advice, what else? Anyone, anyone thoughts, comments, uh, Clara? Um, I know for me, what's been working is um, making phone calls, but at the same time, once, once, how do I say this? When I can't get in contact with a customer, I always follow up with a text message because sometimes just like Keith, they're at work and they can't pick up the phone. But if you send a text message, th they're quick to respond. So not only am I making my phone calls, but when they don't answer, I always follow up with the text to let them know that, you know, it's not an automated, you know, system that um, when they have a moment to please call me back. And I've been getting a lot of return phone calls or, or text messages response um, as, as well as the um, rent to own program. Um, I have a lot of customers that I've been reaching out that um, wanted to purchase, but it's better that they go through the rent to own program and, um, you guys really need to utilize the office, the staff here, because um, I'm not sure if you guys have um, John's calendar set up, but a lot of the phone calls that I get where I'm referring them to him as far as the rent to own, 
as, as, as long as I can get them qualify, um, go through the qualifications with them to find out, okay, they make this certain amount of money and go through the qualifications. Once I know they're qualified, then I kind of send them to John in a sense so that he can literally walk them through that and then he'll give them back. But if you guys don't know much about the rent to own program, you may want to come in and speak to John about that. Yeah. So make sure, yeah, if you, if you, I would prefer that if you, um, if you need some information on the rent to own program, schedule that time with John, go through the home partners training, obviously as well, because that's going to be one of the caveats with John. He's happy to sit down with you, but you better have gone through the home partners training through their portal uh, and become a certified agent with them. So that way you have that good foundational knowledge. And then John can teach you kind of the tips and tricks on what we've been able to do to be successful with that. Um, and then yes, if you need some handholding and you want John to sit down with you um, with a customer in this office, then yeah, absolutely. We're more than happy to, to do that. You know, just, but make sure uh, you, uh, you schedule that time with John. So some good tips. Uh, Angela. Um, I have noticed um, I am not getting any kind of Boomtown up for grabs alert. Is there, I'm, I looked at my settings. I don't hear anything. I mean, I'm literally, I was walking the other day and I was listening to a book or something and all of a sudden I looked down, Boomtown lead up for grabs and it was seven minutes before. Is there a setting that I'm missing that I can't get the oh, alert? And before I always got the bum, 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 it sounded yeah, like the shark. Uh, well, I don't think it's doing that. Good, good question. I um, would suggest reaching out to support uh, okay. with uh, Boomtown. They're great. They're based in Charleston. They are. Um, they are good. If you've not talked to Boomtown Support, I think they're the most, I wish they could uh, train the government, sort of like you know, DMV and stuff. They're absolutely <laughs> amazing to work with. So they can definitely help you. But yeah, give them a call. Um, any Boomtown technical stuff, if you're looking for tips or tricks, that's us. If something is not working or you just want to learn how to do something, I'll, also remember you have that the support line at Boomtown. Call it, use it. We pay for it. So Has gosh, anybody else make... had that issue? Has anybody else had an issue where they don't hear? Yeah, I, I haven't been getting that sound anymore now that we're getting the new leads coming up that way. I haven't yeah. been getting that same sound that we used to get before. That alert. What, what phone are you on, Joellen? Um, the 8, iPhone 8. iPhone, and are you, Angela, are you on iPhone or Droid? 8 Plus, yeah. Uh, yeah, because I'm getting them on mine. So, I, I mean, I'm included so I can see when leads are coming in. So, I know it is sending it out. Um, I would uh, definitely either try deleting the app and reinstalling the app or giving support a call. That would be one of my, my two suggestions there. Yeah. Has anyone had the problem and fixed the problem? No? Okay. All right. Well, let us know, Joellen or Angeline. Send me, send help an email and let us know if, when you're able to resolve it, how you're able to resolve it, and we'll push that out to the entire company as I spill my coffee. Um, <laughs> all right, is that fair? Mm -hmm. Cool. What about anyone else? Well, I got one thing. Uh, getting back to the farm, and that's basically uh, not just the schools in the particular area that you're looking at, but also look at like youth baseball league. We have a, my son plays baseball. I coach in the league. They have a booth open for $50 for opening day. Hundreds upon hundreds of people come to these events. The mayor of the town comes to this event over here at this particular one. So that's a good opportunity to get yourself in front of people and get your card out there, get, you know, you know, hand out your card, hand out candy, hand out anything. That'll, that'll grab their attention. So it's just something else to consider because that's what we'll be doing over here. I've enlisted my wife and my son to help out with that on opening day, which, you know, my wife is not too happy about working on her day off, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> just remind her the great vacation you're going to take her on when uh, you, you have the, your first 10 closings or something, you know? Oh, no, no. She made that a threat already. <laughs> oh, okay. There's no, there's no option. Yeah. She gets to pick the place. Well, that's only fair. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah, not, not in my house. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> <Or again. laughs> All righty then. Uh, awkward moment. Um, no, good good job. But yeah, so one of my uh, coaches when I was just getting started told me, you should get a thousand business cards every month. And at the end of the month, you should have zero. 
So if you're not ordering a thousand or more business cards a month, you're not getting out there enough and handing out your cards, whether it be networking events, going to PTA meetings or um, going to, you know, league games like that. That's a great idea. And a lot of them offer for very affordable where you can put your logo and your information on the outfield fence for, especially for baseball and softball. Um, look at meetup.org or meetup, the, the app or meetup.com, whatever. What do you like to do in your spare time? What makes you happy? What brings you enjoyment? I'm guaranteeing you there's a group in your area that does it, that you can meet up with the network and grow your audience. Try to go steer away from events that have realtors, right? So you want to be in where you're the only or very few realtors involved. So that's just a great, you know, great time. Unless you're trying to get recruits to help boost your uh, backup income with our referral program, then yes, please go. Um, but, you know, that's just get out there. Go through those business cards. So some great tips. Anyone else have any other tips for really getting out and, and engaging your farm area? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Bueller. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to start pushing this out. I, I, um, I hope you're going to come tomorrow. It's going to be a great event. I can't wait to – I mean, they, she has all kinds of awesome free things that you can order, a couple hundred, whatever you want. Um, and I mean, brochures and flyers for you to include in your listing packages. Um, don't forget for listings. We also have the century 21 home warranty program, uh, brochures and applications on the, in the business center in the back. So lots of great stuff. Take advantage of these resources. Um, I would love to see everybody in our brokerage have at least six to eight listings this year, at least six to eight listings, six to eight sales, right? That means at least one a month average. We can do that. Okay. And we're here to support you in any way we can. So, well, we'll keep doing this uh, every every Tuesday morning. I, I actually look forward to it. At first, I'm like, oh, here we go. But I'm loving to see every week uh, we get a little bit more engagement. So um, hopefully the email reminders and the texts are helping. Uh, we'll keep those going. And Kevin, third question. Yeah. Uh, the power hour, are we doing that tomorrow? Yep, tomorrow's the first one, 8 a.m. All right. And, and for right. those that come, I'm giving away something very, very special. I'm giving away a free Mercedes Benz brochure um, tomorrow at the class. So one person gets that free Mercedes Benz brochure. Um, so be <laughs> sure to come by for that, okay? <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. <laughs> All righty. Troy is like stoic. No, no smile. <laughs> no, he didn't even blink. <laughs> He's like, whatever. <laughs> what <is that>? <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Y'all have a great day. If there's nothing yeah. else, don't forget we're here for you if you need anything, okay? Thank you. All right, take care. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Bye.